Hi, welcome to Unit 6 of the Open SAP course, Central Business Configuration. My name is Amit Gupta and I will take you through Organizational Structure Management. Set up Organizational Structure App. This is a tool available centrally within CBC to help you define and visualize your large and complex enterprise structures in a, in a graphical and intuitive way. First, you can uh, define this within CBC, within this app, uh, and then you can use this uh, draft to be reviewed with your team or with your client before you actually finalize it and you send it to uh, one of your ERP products such as SAP S4 HANA. Here, you can use this to not only do the first time uh, implementation and definition of your org structure, but also for subsequent additions of any org units and the relations to this uh, existing structure. Org completion rules. So the org structure is very closely tied with the scoping that you would have carried before in the system. So not only the country, but also the business processes. So these define which type of org units and their relationships are mandatory to run these business processes. For example, you would need a Kanban storage location in Germany if you have scope Germany and a Kanban process in, in, the, scoping, in the scoping step. Uh, so we guide the user in order to make this whole experience consistent uh, and also more intuitive. We have here two boxes, uh, units to create and units to confirm. And these guide the user with all the mandatory org units and only once he has created all of these units and relationships can he move on to uh, the confirmation and to the completion of the activity. So, Along with the creation of the org units, we also pro provide the possibility to, to have additional attributes, for example, addresses, different address uh, formats for different countries, or uh, we also allow for some of the org units uh, for their names, for the description to be saved in different languages. Then all of these different org units, they would have a lot of uh, different relationships inter-org relationships, and this can get a pretty uh, huge uh, hierarchy. And we have both a graphical view and a tabular view to visualize this in order to be able to better review uh, the whole org structure. The last step in the org app, as we would see later, is uh, the confirmation and completion. So confirmation is the process which finalizes the data to be placed in your deployment target, such as SAP S4 HANA Cloud. Uh, whatever we have done until now, this has been sort of preparing the data in the background uh, technically, but this is still in a, in, in a format where it can be changed. But confirmation means it's a final step. And after you have confirmed, you cannot uh, change these uh, org units and they shall be uh, sent to the, to the target system. Once you have done confirmation, then you will move ahead with the completion of this uh, org app and uh, completion of the milestone, which will take you to the next phase uh, product specific configuration where uh, you can do further fine tuning. With that said, let's uh, go to a demo to see what I just explained in brief in the system, how this is actually done in the organizational structure app. So here I have a project prepared for us. Here, as we can see, we have already defined scope and we have already um, assigned the deployment target and we have already confirmed scoping. So we are here now in the organizational structure um, step. One of the prerequisites here is to specify the primary finance settings. So let's quickly do this. Here you can, um, you can, you can choose the fiscal year variant and the group currency. 
and then we will save it and then we confirm and then we shall complete the app now we go inside the org structure app Okay, so this is how the app looks at the face of it, yeah? So here, as you, you can see, we talked about the uh, org completion rules. Here, units to create. It shows us all the mandatory units to be created, along with the countries in which they should be created. Uh, I have here US and Germany, DE uh, basically scoped here. Um, and now we can try to create some of the org units to see how this actually looks like. So for example, I create a company code 1010. And here I can see the countries. And I might have different company codes, so I mark one of them as a default company code. Okay, so now our company code is created. We could see some success messages. Now, as you can see, the app is already guiding the user here to create the next units, yeah? So, for example, we can now, we want a plant here for production. So we create a plant tent in, in for example, Berlin. And here, we talked about addresses. So for example, um, we could write here, put some address and other attributes such as um, the tax codes and we can create this entity. So now that the plant is created, we have another proposal for creating a storage location. Let's quickly create one. Let's uh, create a Kanban one, what I talked about before. Then let's create uh, one sales organization as well. Plus we have here, um, we can use um, the create button here to create other units. Then if we scroll here to the right, you can see some other units that can be created here, divisions and distribution channels and different uh, types of uh, shipping points. Let's for example, create um, shipping point here. And now here we can see the address format. This is really dependent on the country. So now if I change the country, this address format changes, yeah? So now we created some of the org units. And now what I wanted to show you was how to do some relationship creation. So for example, for this plant here, we see here additional relations. So I can relate different org units to each other. These uh, are also uh, based on uh, the different business processes that have been scoped. So for example, um, we created just a shipping point here. So we can create an assignment of the shipping point.
and now we can see here that this is uh, created and this can still be unassigned since both plant and shipping point they are uh, not confirmed as we see here the status confirmation then now you might see you do not see the whole structure here uh, so we see only plant this is the focus view we can go back to the whole structure uh, as i will show you shortly in another project when the when the uh, enterprise structure gets really huge then it's uh, difficult to fit everything here on screen so that's why we have these uh, ui methods to uh, guide the user to to focus on a particular entity and then it takes it to the focus view i have here created another project for the sake of time to show you how uh, org structure confirmation can happen so this is the project here we see now only two units to create are left we will create it to see how it changes yeah so it says storage location in germany i create here one storage location and then we have to create a sales group okay so here we can see now all the mandatory units are created and now the app is guiding me to start confirming these units yeah this is what are pending for confirmation and this button is now suddenly available this was grayed out until now and i can uh, before we move to confirmation i want to show you uh, some of the ui tricks that we have here so for example you can use the zoom out and zoom in uh, functionality to see more data on the screen then we can have here uh, full screen mode and once we have full screen mode then we can drag this whole graph then we have a simplified options so that uh, the proposals to create no new org units they are not there anymore so uh, it's even more uh, clear and clean here we have different filters to help you uh, work with smaller structures. For example, if the user is um, concerned only with one country, then he can choose his country from the filter, or you can choose only to look at all the different um, distribution channels, or you can work only with the confirmed or not confirmed units. So now we can see everything is uh, not confirmed here. We can see this through these small tags here and we have mouse hovers even uh, which show more information if you just put your mouse here and then here we have also these icons which is representing that this is actually a relationship of plant to shipping point yeah similarly here of purchasing oil, uh, organization to plant then we have here the tabular view so in the tabular view you see the same data but in a different format so here for example i can expand it and then see here what are the different uh, what is the whole hierarchy and these are these these are always in sync so you see that both you see the same data in both the places now we can go ahead and we can confirm so once we confirm we can either choose individual um, org units or we can for example choose uh, the whole hierarchy and 
the confirmation here is, uh, is this algorithm is quite intelligent. So if, for example, I try to confirm here the sales organization, it will automatically select the parent here, the company code, because this needs to be confirmed uh, in order to for the sales org to be confirmed. I can also go and select the whole org structure to confirm it. So whatever we have done until now, this has placed all the data in the workspace, which is the technical object behind a CBC project. Um, that's why this was until now a draft and not finalized. But once we confirm it, the confirmation status changes um, and then this data is final, which shall later be put to the deployment target once we hit the milestone, uh, milestone uh, which I will just show you uh, in a moment. So now let us click on confirm. And then now all the data is being uh, prepared and being confirmed, all these org units, and we have a confirmation progress bar here to indicate the same. Uh, once this whole confirmation happens, then we can actually complete this app. We can put it to complete. And then the next step should be to confirm the scope and organizational structure milestone. And upon the completion of this milestone, here we shall see this, um, this diamond becoming green and going to the product specific configuration. So as shown upon the completion of the milestone uh, setup organization structure and the scoping phase, we move on to the product specific configuration phase. In this phase, we have a list of uh, mandatory and optional configuration activities, also called fine tuning, where we can further adapt the configuration to the specific uh, client business needs. So a quick summary of what we learned in this unit six of this Open SAP course. We learned about the setup organization structure app, how you can use the graphical and the tabular view to visualize uh, your complex structure, the org units and the relationships. We also saw here how first you can use a draft to be reviewed uh, within the organization before this is finalized by confirmation. We also learned about the um, or completion rules, which guide the user to create all the mandatory org units um, for the sake of consistency and uh, simplicity. We also learned that it's possible to change uh, the descriptions or delete some of the org units or create new ones until confirmation has happened. But after confirmation, you can only add the new units. So thank you for listening. I hope you learned uh, a bit about the org app through this uh, video and thanks for your time.